Zagora lon mustora, Shandu zal gumachu, Shashaduth. Hello, ladies and gents. This is Rebel Galaxy. I'm the Rev. And we're going to take and play us some missions, do some side missions, play some more main missions, and see what this whole first sector has to offer. Now, the gentleman at Double Damage, being Travis Baltree and Erich Schaefer, have said that this game should be out this year. If you look on Steam, which of course I'll put a link in the description below, you'll see that it has a 2015 release date. So we're just waiting. So, you saw the first question this tentacled SOB asked us. Who are you? Uh, you know my aunt. I'll see you shortly. Let's go with you know my aunt. Aurora Tal Gosanta. Rito Shobagat. Ronkut Shaburla. I see. Well, I guess I'll see you after I dock. Now, we're also going to be going over how to play the game, and I'll show you guys how to do that as we go along here. There are some tutorials. But I'll probably jump because I've already been playing this game for a while. So I'll just tell you guys how to play as we play. So let's do this. Alright. First, you're going to want to get comfortable maneuvering your ship. Yep. A to throttle. B to reduce. L to steer. Yeah, you fly close to a station. You hit A to dock. It's all good. So this is our ship, starter ship. I started a brand new game. It's got zero upgrades. It's got nothing. So we'll pull on close here. And dock. Talking. All right, let's visit the bar. Then we'll check out the rest of the stuff. Meet Ozuru or Zuru. Oh. So, so where is my aunt? She was supposed to meet me here. Sure, sure. Just tell me where my aunt is. You know what? I don't have time for this. Basically, we were given a ship by our aunt. She was supposed to meet us here, and she's disappeared. And why do you say that, my tentacled friend? What is it? Maybe it'll tell me how to find her. Can I see it? Whoa! What do you mean? In other words, we're screwed. Our ship is complete and utter crap. Any suggestions? Yeah, what kind of something, huh? Tambo Gatural Shad. Zuvanto Gonral Dororan. It's a deal. Sounds shady. I'm out. Well, it's a deal because we need uh, to get the tractor beam, which is what you get from this quest. But if this was modern day Earth, I would say, yeah, whiskey, won't you tell me what's really in it, huh? Alright. Rorat Rito all right. Yes, whatever. I'm on it. Okay, so we got 1,500 credits. Here's the news board. Now, this will tell you what's going on in the sector. We got a tech boom, a scientific boom on Bon Plant has resulted in a surplus of high, a surplus, geez, of high quality tech gear. Archaeological find. Ancient artifacts of significant importance have been discovered near Lamberton. Lamberton. A vessel has been dispatched to Rinsen to commence research at the Science Center. 
mining rush. A mining claim near, I ain't even going to try and say it, Hub has yielded a wealth of valuable minerals and metals. All right, so we can hire a mercenary. Well, we don't have enough money, Name's but... Garris. I hear you're looking for someone who can fly. Is that the case? I might be. Aren't you a little old to be a mercenary? Maybe what sort of ship do you fly? You look capable. You're hired. Uh, no, just passing through. We're going to go with no, just passing through. All right. See you around. Okay. Oh, wow. It does not. Here we go. And we'll jump back one screen. Okay. Shipyard. So this is show the ships. Now, if you watched my sneak peek video that I did, you would have saw this bad boy. This is what I was running in that. But depending on how we do here, we might eventually get up to this bad boy. Depends on how many missions I'm going to have to run in the background to do it. Because the main missions do not give you enough cash to really upgrade things the way they need to be upgraded. So, equipment bay. So, first thing we're going to do is look at weapons. Uh, we got our broadsides. And this is the way the game plays like your... You can't go up and down. There's no pitch. So everything is on a flat plane. So of course we have what you would use like in an old naval battle. Right? And you guys will see that as we get into stuff. Secondary. This is normally where you put your flat cannons and missile launchers, other such things. Flat cannons of course are to protect you and then you got all these different missile dump fire missiles. And then, of course, then we have the heat-seeking missiles. Alpha turret, which is the one of the turrets you get. And we've got the, the uh, scatter turret, which is not what I care for. We'll be looking to get us a pulse turret ASAP. And the beta turret, we'll want to put that on there, too. That way, we'll be able to do better defense. Hole, you see we've got three upgrades we need to work towards. Shield, same thing. Deflector, which is something that will absorb damage, but it only damage absorbs 150 damage. This one's only 300, so we may or may not get it. I'll probably get it at some point just to show you guys how to use it. Uh, but it's okay. I mean, it's just it's not my style, I guess. So, and then we got our course, our components. We've got engine upgrades, three upgrades. Get us around faster. Booster. Boy, that's it. Wow. So, yeah, we're going to want a better booster because a lot of times you'll drop into a mission and there'll be way too many guys. You grab what you need and you run. Warp drive. This is what causes one of the coolest effects in the game. Of course, we've got three levels. You can extend your cargo capacity. And again three levels as you can see the thing here tractor beam which is what we're going to get on this mission makes it so that we can pick things up jump drive uh, this is what i think you will have to get in this first system to get out of the first system and it's only the first system for the tech demo that i have and the this is the same thing that they're showing off at also the various comic cons and game cons that are happening right now that's what the developers are doing they're pushing this game which is cool and we've got salt or um fault tracker which is software and heat management and then below that once we get our specter thing worked out which is that thing that he gave us we'll get some more goodies off that so there we go we also have our commodities market, and as we go through, uh, oh wow, I've got a bunch of metallic ore. Well, no, we don't. So it's the supply on the station, in hold is what you have. We've got squat diddly. So you can see a bunch of various things. Mission board, this is where we will pick up missions. And the easiest to get and do at this point Wow, average. Wow. That's it, huh? Two Gs, huh? Well, we'll accept that one. Whoa. Let's see. We gotta do the exchange. Eh, we'll leave that on there. We may or may not do it. 
where we're going to go do the exchange right now. And of course, visit the bar and depart station. So there's a quick rundown. Missions are marked in gold diamonds on your screen and radar. Just you're heading to point towards your destination. Right, as we move away from large objects, you guys will see here. So let's look on the old screen. Engines at maximum. Yes, they are. And if you want to help yourself get out a little quicker, you can hit your boosters. You want to watch in the right hand corner though, because you don't want it to run all the way out. If it does, you have to wait until the bar completely refuels before you use it again. And you don't want to do that with boosters, especially if you're boosting out of a situation, which I'm sure we'll do in this playthrough. So, let's hit it, Chewie. Love that special effect. Love how they do warp in this game. And believe it or not, this bad boy is running at a solid 60 frames a second, which is nice. All right. Yes, we were. That's okay. We'll get in here, we'll get our stuff. Yes, I know about the pulse function. I will show that. Thank you. Try, of course, not to hit anything. You see, we get these little small amounts of credits for discovering things on the map. Oh, there he is. Ow. Jeez. Incoming hail. Collision warning. Hey there. Or as you send you, you got my payment. Yeah, he did. Here's the cash. Ah, bada boom, bada bing. Don't tell anybody we're doing this deal. Or you can do, yeah, but honestly, I think I'll keep it for myself. Hand over the cargo or I'll blow a hole clear through you. Nope, you just be looking for somebody else. Now we'll be good for now. Mission complete. Uh-oh. Oh, been driving long. Oh, there's another. Oh, goodness. You can see, though, it doesn't. Doesn't really hurt you, so you're fine. We're fine. Bumping off a few things. Accelerating to Engines at maximum. You're gonna let me go. Oh, yes, we were on the edge. Good enough. Okay, sweet. So, no bubble, no trouble. Now. I've played this multiple times, starting it, testing things, and I have had guys drop in on me, so always keep that in mind. Whenever going into a mission, you could have trouble at any time. That's good, because I would have slammed the hell into that bad boy. And once we get close enough, we'll do the old dock. Woohoo, six. All right, let's go see what he's got to say in the bar. Really? That short of speech for all of that? That is one hell of a language, son. Anyways, we're going to want to take the tractor beam. Okay, so about my aunt. Yeah, well, tell me about it, I suppose. All right, I guess I can do that. Honestly, I just don't have time. Yeah. So, you're going to want to take these quests just because we need the money so we got 7g so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna buy us a pulse turret and we'll sell the old crappy one then secondary and this is gonna eat up the rest of the money let's get the flat cannons yeah that way we've got some defense against missile ordinances 
and then of course we're going to pick in we'll do a um, pulse cannon on the beta turret and then broadsides will probably be upgrade next after that but we have got somewhere to go first Engines at